My whole workspace stinks like burning plastic because I just did a silly thing and pulled 2000 watts through an old extension cord plugged into a double adapter. Don't do that. The Casio Loopy is a game console targeted specifically for young girls. No one outside Japan got this in any version because nobody bought it in Japan either. It has many hearts. This is about as good as the games look and it's important for young girls to know that it has a 32-bit RISC CPU. Now, I'm not saying girls don't care about what's in a computer. I'm saying children don't care about what's in a computer. Nobody cares about what's in a computer. The 32-bit part is relevant. Back in the 90s, everything was about the bit wars. The more bits you had, the better your console was. Wasn't entirely true, but that's what they did. Nowadays, everything's been 64-bit for ages. RISC means it has a reduced instruction set CPU, which in short means the CPU is streamlined to do less stuff quicker. At this point, they may as well write down that this console has a Hitachi SH7021 Super H 32-bit RISC CPU running at 16 megahertz, but no one's going to care about that either. It's pointless, especially since this thing runs at half the speed of the PlayStation, which was out already. On the back, it's showing off six games. This is more than half of the entire library. Only 11 games ever came out for this system. This thing has the biggest eject button I've ever seen. It's huge, but I kind of like it. It's pretty fun. Power switch makes clunky noises, which means it's probably got cartridge locks. There they are, yep. This whole half of the console is a printer. Seal out. In Japan, the word seal means sticker. In here, we have a hideously expensive print cartridge. Oh dear. This cartridge is so close to being run out. The label comes in, goes around, and the roll finishes here. I want to try and print later. I hope it can print. Now I'm worried that they're gonna be completely unobtainable online. There's a little tool in here. The tension, the sticker roll. I'm not gonna to touch that. And this is to cut the label off. It's only got one controller port. I guess they're not expecting young girls to have friends. On the back, there's AV ports, which is nice. 24 volt input, which is heaps. And a contrast knob, which is unusual on a console. Probably not so much on a printer. Controller's not the worst. The D-pad's pretty gross. It has L and R buttons, which was a surprise. Four action buttons, which you can't reach more than two at a time with your thumb. And a bright yellow start button. This game's called Dream Change Kogane's Fashion Party. And straight away it's asking me questions that I don't understand. Oh look, there's a save file. Now I get to choose a floor in this building. I reckon I can read these. That one says production. That one says design school. I'm by no means fluent in Japanese, but I can make them out if I take my time. I'm gonna cut out my time, so it's gonna seem like I'm really smart. Model school. All I wanna do is print a sticker. This one down here says snap. It's gotta be taking photos. I just can't get down there. Oh, I'm choosing clothes. Yeah, let's go through a stewardess. Oh, I push D to get to snap. That's so unintuitive. Look at this. I push up and down as much as I want. I don't get there. I push across, I don't get anything. And then I push D and I get down to snap. Oh, it's printing. Is it gonna work? Is it working? It's taking a long time. What it's doing now is it's printing each color. So it's kind of a black and white printer, but it's got three different colors in it. So it does each one in turn to create a color picture. Oh, I need to cut it off. Look at that. It printed. They're even cut out. She can live here. I don't know why it printed the menus. And that's literally all I wanted from that game. Ah! Oh, that's what? I don't know what happened there. It sounded like it was playing the printer through the speakers. The name of this game translates to Bow Wow Puppy Love Story. Apparently this is the only game on here that sort of resembles an action game. Woof! I want to start a new game on this one. Ah! It's a baseball. I'm going to call the dog. The reason I'm not translating all of this is because I don't understand any of it. I can read a lot of this, but I can't understand what it says. I've got no Japanese vocabulary. The words I'm picking out are in katakana, which is foreign words written in Japanese. I can tell you this says papa because papa is not a Japanese word. It's just a foreign word that Japanese people use. This whole top line says papa ga yatte miseru kara. Of all of that, the bit I understand is papa. He seems to be patting the dog a lot. Now the girl's patting the dog a lot. And a lot. Oh, I was supposed to be making choices. I was just choosing the same option over and over again because I was mashing A. I'm stuck in a loop of not knowing what to do. Oh, I did it. I don't know. I was just about to give up. This is making me wish I chose the existing save file. Oh, I told him off. I've achieved something. All I've been doing is mashing buttons and being bored for the last 15 minutes. Oh, the screen's changing. Finally. This is very much not resembling an action game. Definitely seems to just be me choosing text options. The dog found a doll. Oh, it's alive! 
Okay, it's a sentient clock. Oh, the doll lost her little girl. For some reason, the clock is involved. Oh, it's something to do with time travel. That's a classic time travel move. Dramatic music is playing. Something dramatic is going to happen. It might already be happening and I just don't understand. Doll's gone. Clock's gone. Is the dog gone? The dog's gone. The girl's gone. Oh, Castle of Illusion vibes. Just notice there's quite a lot of kanji in this. Kids games normally don't use kanji because kanji's hard to learn. Kids aren't really expected to know it when they're young. The Pokemon games, for example, don't use any kanji at all, just for accessibility to children. This has a bunch. This clock seems to get angry a lot. The dog seems to bark a lot. New character. Having just looked up a playthrough video, there are little action-y sort of bits, but they're so far into the game. It's a quiz. I'm so done with this game. This is the game I've really been wanting to try out. PC Collection, which seems to be kind of like a kid's office suite sort of thing, which I'm sure will be really easy to navigate in Japanese. And it uses a ball mouse, Casio Mouse. Funky, what do we got? Music, load music, no file. Play music. Ah, oh, these are demos. Obviously I can make something better than that. Let's listen to my Mario remix. And that's it really. It actually seems like quite a comprehensive editor, but it's very tedious. A puzzle? That's not what I clicked, but sure. Well, I can't fault that. It is what it says. And it's a puzzle. What's this? Oh, it's a crane game. Let's go! Whoa, what are we doing here? Koala? Winky anime koala? Winky anime koala with a Where's Wally shirt? Oh, I got rid of him. There. How do we print? Oh! It deleted my beautiful artwork! J, because I'll probably delete it again before I figure out how to print. That guy again! Go away! Stop ruining my stuff! Jay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, that changed the background. We need some cherries. That did nothing. Nothing. Oh, here we are. Printing. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, no! I'm out of paper. I might never print on this loopy ever again. I don't know if I can get paper from anywhere. No pudding. How sad. Time to see what's inside. Oh, except I can't. The screwdriver doesn't fit down the hole. I'm gonna have to use a normal screwdriver. Seems to be a problem with all of these socket type screwdrivers how thick this is. It's like a normal label printer cartridge, but way thicker. Oh, there's cables connected. Unscrew that. Power light's hardwired. Oh, there we go. This half is the game console. Inject mechanism. This has got the printer and some power supply stuff. Wow, there's some scissors in there. If I put a random piece of garbage in there, I can cut it and then have trouble getting the piece out later. RF shooting. Here's the main board. This is the CPU in here. I would have thought it would be one of the bigger chips, but it's not. It's That's it. I also thought it was going to be the same CPU that's in the Sega 32X, but it turns out that one's slightly different, a bit better, and the 32X has two of them. It's the same family though. Some memory here. Looks like memory here too. This guy's interesting. This is a Sony chip that encodes the video to go through the yellow RCA cable. Having that there means if you really wanted the best video quality you could get out of your loopy, you could RGB mod this. I'm happy enough just to never play it again. See if I can get that piece of paper out. Ooh, there's some chewed up label. <laughs> it looks like it's been wet. It's so minty on the outside. I don't understand how anything is strange inside. I'm surprised to find this chewed up stuff in here. It looked like it had never been used, but obviously the roll was almost empty, so I guess it had. Maybe I'm being too harsh. The sticker printing is a genuinely cool feature. I would have loved that when I was a kid. I do feel though that someone in charge at Casio thought that selling to girls meant selling garbage. Why are all the games the same? Why don't they have any decent graphics? It's a 32-bit system. Maybe it's because I'm not a 12 year old girl, but this stuff feels like shovelware to me. And the games that aren't just playing dress ups require lots and lots of reading. I just don't see how they thought it was gonna succeed. And I'm really sad that I've run out of paper. Ah!